Hey guys, this is Teleth. Uh, last week or so I've only had access to my laptop, so now I have a level 45 Asian, which is the level I thought was necessary to really um, play the class. Uh, so in the last video I said I wasn't quite sure how this was going to turn out. I wasn't sure if he was going to be okay or not. Um, I thought at the time that it depended on the passives and how, well, how OP they would end up being, but uh, it seems most of my worries were unfounded. None of the passives really have a major impact on the game. Um, these matches are played with the level 1 MP recovery on, and I, I don't know, I don't really notice a difference. And if there is a difference, it's so small that I don't really care. And I imagine that the uh, level 2 doesn't make much more of a difference. Um, I think someone mentioned that being dependent on your HP recovery stat. But um, since we're playing in a propolis environment, that doesn't really matter. Um, other concern was the, the AP part of the skills. The ability to just push a button and um, instantly special. Ended up not being a problem. I played probably 20 or 30 matches the other day, and I don't think there was a single time in there that I thought, hey, this would be a good place to just push um, SDF or G, or, you know, instead of charging it normally like I usually do. Um, so I don't think that's a problem either. And then uh, I don't know about his hidden 3 bar. I haven't seen that in action, in action yet. Um, his uh, other buffs that I have don't seem very important. The defense, I never noticed any real uh, change in damage for that. And the speed buff, the same there. I don't really need an increased speed if I have a step. Um, you can get to his uh, secrets tab. I didn't touch... I ended up going with the pressure point build because I sure wasn't going to pick any of the things that buffed my props that I don't use. Um, but I also think that was a really good idea. I think if you're seriously going to try to PvP with Aizen, you should pick the Pressure Points build for Pressure Points level 1. Not for the debuff, but for the extra attack. That there's been There were a lot of situations where I was saying to myself, this would be a great place to use that. Um, yeah, more details about that in a minute. Um, so as you can see, I, plays, I based my entire style over uh, his Cursing Step backpedal. I did that because it's got a covers quite an amount of distance. Um, it's, it's rather quick. Like I don't feel like I'm slowing down when I use it, and I have the option of terminating it whenever I want to with um, a lot of different methods. I can use the regular attack. I can use my um, pressure points, or I can uh, special in the middle of it. So there's a lot of was, there's a lot of options there, and. Um, the whole point of the, the step is to put yourself into a position to use your specials or get into a combo. Because when you have a character like this that's based entirely around his combo, it's usually expected that that's what he's going to do, so it's harder to catch someone in it. Um, Damage-wise, everything seems to be appropriate. Uh, his combos do an appropriate amount of damage. Um, his specials were a little bit of a cause for concern at first because the one bar does almost as much as damage as a geese's one bar. However, I decided I'm fine with that because that one bar, um, well, where geese's one bar functions as a an entrance into a combo, which you know then you've got your that combo consists of a dash attack or a basic combo that does even more damage than the one bar does itself. This one bar is more of the culmination of it. This is like the last hit of your combo. This is what all your combos lead up to. Um, and there's not all that much you can do with the opponent after you hit them with it. Maybe a grab if you're lucky, or if they're falling off a platform. So I felt that was um, good. The three bar actually pretty good as far as three bars go, just because of the speed and the lack of delay. Um, and then there's the pressure point, which is uh, I feel is important if you're going to be a main player for this class. Is um, for example, the dash attack and its follow-ups are not usually practical. Usually, there's a terrain um, differential or something that makes it difficult to hit with the follow-up attacks. And since those follow-ups teleport you, 
sometimes you don't want to be wherever they take you. Um, but if you use the pressure point the second that dash attack makes contact, you will end your own little combo and you will stop them from being launched away. Plus the debuff, if that counts for anything. I don't really know. It's in Korean. Neither of a, neither me or Nex could figure it out. We don't actually. I don't know. I didn't read it. Um, but yeah, so you could do a dash attack and then turn it into a regular combo with the pressure point. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty important in my opinion. Um, so yeah, playing against Nexus Striker, probably not the best way to break in a new class. This is this is towards the end of the 20 or 30 games that I played yesterday, and so I'm finally getting the hang of it. Um, the class is definitely um, well. It's it's like it's a real class. Like it's it's got a good amount of depth to it was because of all the ways you can do combos and stuff. Um, it's definitely something if you you have to learn if you want to play it. It's important that you uh, you practice and you know don't make mistakes. Um, yeah, I mean you'll see that I make a lot of mistakes. I'm not prepared for a grab or I'm not prepared for an attack to hit or I get a little too spazzy with some of my attacks. But overall, I think it's definitely um, it's definitely got potential. Will I keep playing it? I haven't decided yet. It's um, it's up in the air right now. It's the class is a little too reliant on um, on combos for my taste. Like there's not much you can do apart from them, and I really hate ha being forced to you know do these kind of little dances around the, the opponent in order to get any hits at all. I don't know. I mean it's kind of fun, but yeah, playing against Nexus Striker probably not. Yeah, not the best to break a class in, and I think I've decided that Striker, as a whole, is a pretty good counter to, uh, to combo-based characters, because uh, pretty much uh, Striker trades hits all the time, and so anytime he gets into a combo, or gets runs into it or something, or I start one and I get the first hit, I'm probably going to take a hit too, which cancels the rest of the combo. And that's my biggest problem throughout this video matches you see is that I always get my stuff cancelled by him so we both fall over basically it's extremely difficult to catch him just because it's striker and that's what striker does so definitely definitely could have been a better choice than uh, in opponents but I don't know in my opinion if the class can't play on the same level as a striker I'm not saying it needs to be as OP but I should be able to beat a striker with it then it's not a very strong class, and that's unfortunately how I think it's going to end up for Azen. Um, I do have a little bit more of the ST to go. There's the uh, something repose, peaceful repose, quiet repose, I forgot what it's called. And um, <clears throat> if that restores anywhere near as much MP as it does in practice mode, then that's really good. But that kind of thing doesn't change the class, it just makes playing the class easier. I don't know. And like I said, that's just... It'll just be kind of his gay little thing that he does. Um, so, yeah. I mean, overall, I really don't have any complaints about him. He's basically MP. Just because he doesn't have a ton of stuff and text he can do. He's got his... Um, he's got the pressure point and, uh, and his buffs. And the buffs aren't very useful, so... Um, yeah, it's just got its specials, and like I said, I've been charging them the whole time. I always feel that's so much more natural. Um, I could definitely see, though, where the AP-ish part of that would come in ad advan advantage if you were uh, serious about playing this class. And you got really good with them, and you got to know your combos and stuff. You could just switch from a combo into a 3-bar whenever you needed to. So, um, that definitely could have an advantage, a 1-bar, 2-bar, 3-bar. Um, but me personally, I didn't use it once. I didn't see a single time I wanted to use it. Um, I initially thought that using it, uh, I, I did use it in dungeons every now and then just to try to get used to it. And, um, and, uh, th I thought the, uh, cooldown time would not be enough to offset the fact that I could just special whenever I wanted to. However, I don't know, I thought that it actually worked fine. I didn't really have an issue with um, 
that because I felt the cooldown was long enough that it got in my way, which I think is important for something like this. Um, I don't like his two bar, uh, just because I don't like the lack of control I have over it. Even if I use it off a ledge like that, you've seen it a couple times. Is um, he just keeps going the same direction, same pace, and same speed, and I don't have any way of stopping it. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of that one. Um, I think I've got most of it. Like I said, if this is a class that's definitely got stuff to learn, um, it takes practice to get good at. And, uh, oh, he's balanced. I can't think of anything that would make him really OP. My original concern was that those combos would be so effective that, you know, anyone could, uh, just combo you forever or something. He does have that the neat trick where um, he bounces people off of walls. I don't know if you've seen this. If you uh, dash attack them and they hit their arc, they do bounce off of walls. Uh, si like a significant bounce, not just like a little, uh, not like a normal bounce, like it would happen in real life, like they would just fall. But like they bounce up and back the same kind of arc that you hit them in. So there's definitely some stuff there. Um, yeah, I don't think Izzin can really compete with Striker and Geese and all the other OPs. Like, I mean, I can pull a Knight into this. I mean, I'm not going to have very much success, but at least I know I can win with Knight. Or SK. Actually, especially with SK. I consider SK to be pretty effective against Striker, actually. But, um, I mean, right now this is... I tried for game after game after game to get a win on um, next for this video. And I just couldn't do it. Um, these are these are from the later games where most of them ended up being two threes or three ones or something like that. But I never I never won. I never ended up beating him. And he was usually not spawn killing me either, for the sake of the video. So I mean, if he had been doing that, I would have been in an even worse position. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, I had fun leveling him and I had fun learning him but I think that's going to be about it for him. All right.